Okay, so the aim for this video is to create some structure in our document and to complete our addendums. So you'll see at the moment you've got your cover page and now we want to split our headings onto different pages and actually put in some page numbers. Now the page numbers for the top of the document will be something normal, just like a 123 or a ABC, whatever you want. And then after bibliography, we're actually going to switch to a different section. You'll see here um, the appendices or the bylaw um, is going to be in a landscape format. And that's going to be uh, a narrow margins. Okay, so landscape orientation and narrow margins. Because here, and each of the appendices can be on their own pages. Um, here, we're actually going to need a different page number format and a different kind of heading. You know, it doesn't have to necessarily have a header. Um, it can be a header or it can be a footer, but some kind of description that actually tells you we're actually in the appendices now. Um, and then you're going to put your different tables in your appendices. Now, these tables, obviously, you're not going to complete yet, but I'm going to give you the tables so that we can copy and paste them at least so that you don't have to do all the work. And then we're going to complete our declaration as well. And you're going to put in your teacher's um, details as well as my name because you're looking at, at you're actually watching my videos. All right. You're going to put your um, signature and date only in phase three. So here's an idea of what needs to go where. Um, the These top three, page one, page two, page three, well, page two, three, four, because page one is your cover page for now. Um, those three each need to be on their own pages, those headings. And um, you're going to split them with a type of break that won't create a new section. OK, so just a regular page break is all good. Um, you might not have these uh, separate headings yet. Heading one, two, three. I'm just I've just put them there so that we know that's where our subheadings for our topic um, will go. So that'll be something regarding something like uh, the problem impact and the solutions, whatever subheadings you've chosen. If you know them now already, you can put them there. Otherwise, put in a little description like heading one, two and three for yourself. So put your page breaks in for those headings and then your appendices. You need to have a new section for them and all of the appendices will be one section with breaks, regular page breaks between the three different sections. OK, so that's why they're all one color. So and they need to be in a landscape orientation and uh, narrow margins. So please go ahead and do that quickly. OK, so we're looking at something like this now. Now we need to complete our uh, addendum two and our addendum three. So to do all of that, you can actually get the um, content from your teacher. If they haven't downloaded it yet, you can download it from the link in the description. Um, and it's all in here in copy and paste. So you can just go and open that up Afrikaans or English. And then um, if you're looking over here, you'll, you can choose whether you're going to use the source table one style or the source table two style. Source table one basically has everything in one and um, the bibliographical information and the quality of the information as well. Whereas source table two has them separately. I really highly recommend that you use source table two style. Um, it just works much better in my opinion. So you're going to download this and the addendum three download. Don't just open it online. Um, and then we're going to copy and paste them. OK, so if you've got it open, um, just, this is just this heading was just to show you where it goes. But I mean, it's the same heading as this. So now you can select from questions and answers table all the way to the bottom of the source three table. Right click copy. And when you paste it, Make sure that you'd paste it not behind the page break, but in front of the page break. Um, so maybe now's a good time to switch on your show and hide. Um, and then you're going to paste it in the first option. Um, use the destination theme so that you don't copy the theme from the previous document. So that it actually matches your fonts and, and colors and everything that you've chosen. Use the destination theme. OK. And now would be a good time to um, format these subheadings. Um, I think they're probably sub subheadings as a heading style as well now. When you're doing the same with addendum three, just make sure that you press enter once um, and that the place where you're standing then um, actually has a normal style because you can't paste the table as a heading style. 
So now you can copy and paste your addendum 3 in the space provided. When you copy this whole table, the easiest way is to select the whole table with the four headed arrow and then you can copy it and paste again using the destination theme. Then complete it with your name, your ID number and your teacher's information. Okay, so we're looking something like this by now. Now we have to do the page numbers. Now I can't show you how to do the page numbers exactly. I'm just going to give you one tip and then I'll link you to another video on how to do that. The one thing you need to remember is because we've actually got a cover page at the top. Um, a cover page is always automatically set by Word to have a different first page setting. So now that we've actually got a section, um, if I go into the header or the footer, you'll see this is section two and it tells me it's already got a setting of first page header and I don't actually need that. It just needs to be the regular section two. So the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to switch off your different first page header and then you're going to think of what are you going to link and unlink a header and a footer needs to be linked and unlinked separately. That's the one thing the video I'm linking doesn't necessarily um, emphasize that much, but a header of section one and two can remain linked while the footer is unlinked, for example. So personally, I would unlink them both and then I would put in the different um, page numbers that I want. So the page numbers, you don't have to do something boring. Hey, you can do something fancy as well. Do some of these design ones or something like that. And then the big thing that we're looking at is having a different format. One of the sections needs to be a regular format and the other section needs to be something else like a Roman numbers or something like that. And then that it starts from one again. Okay. And just so we know where we're at by now, um, we still haven't really worked in phase one much. We've just been completing or just been setting up our document correctly. And this is all part of phase three work. So in phase three, we've done the page layout now. So we've done our automatic page numbering. Um, we've set it appropriately per section. We've used page breaks to start new pages and section breaks to start new sections. And even though we haven't really done anything with the sources yet, we now have our table of questions and sources table. Um, so it's not completed yet, but now we can complete it. It's all there. So now we're really ready to get into the meat of phase one.